This is Han. Because Han has a blaster. Chewie has a blaster too, but Han's blaster is much cooler. Yeah, I see what you did there, Jay. That's good. So, yeah, Han throws bombs. Uh, so it's when you play as Han, it's very much like a. Uh, do you mind? What? Making noise over there, yeah. I'm just doing my thing. You do your thing and let me do my thing. Tell me about Han. Um, he can throw bombs, and so it works a lot like uh, Metal Slug. He controls like a character in Metal Slug. Plus, you have blaster upgrades. I think the max is five, but the third one is the one that's important because it's a homing uh, shot. It's a homing shot? Yeah, it shoots your homies. Well, no, because homies can be any race. Homies don't have to be minority homies. <laughs> so yeah, this one's a, a homing shot, so it's very useful. And I got a shit ton of bombs! And they're very useful too. Oh, come on, platform. Please. Please. Thank you. Oh no, not them. Just one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My Nord homies. Copyright Claire Lara 2015. Han Solo got electrocuted. Right there? Yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? Oh. So this is the- st ah, shit! <laughs> because this is a land barge, this is the stage where you kill uh, Java as the boss. And so you're intended to play this as Leia in her fucking sex slave outfit. And... But you can play as Han without the cheat code. Seeker missiles are the best item in the game. They're like the best shooter power up. Uh, I just blast you right there. But there is a way to access Jabba from the other side, from the, from the right side of the screen. I'm gonna just see if I can work my own way over there. I can't. I can't move past him. But yeah, there's a way to like climb up the edge. Yeah, hey, Ratsavi. Oh yeah, fucking this is like my favorite Star Wars game. By far. I don't even have to use my thermal detonator cheat. I can just throw bombs, because Han's a badass. He handled that quite well. He did. Very, very nice. High five. Luke, Han, Chewie, and Leia race to the forest moon on Endor to destroy the shield generator that protects the new Death Star. I'm on the forest moon. What? I'm on the forest moon. Well, you should probably move to Endor then. Oh yeah, this game is really well made. That game is impossible, I will agree. Which one? Rogue, Rogue Squadron? Squadron? That game is so funny. Yeah, it's really difficult. <laughs> Night falls in the forest in Bendor. I like Night's Gold Republic. Luke, we must stop the scout bikers before they can warn the end fire that we are here. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, so this one you can choose either Luke or Leia, but they actually have the same sprite for this level, so it doesn't matter. They have the same sprite. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, no, they don't. They do have different sprites. Leia has a helmet. Uh, I was gonna say, probably wear the same size. Well, they're twins, actually, yeah. Leia's older, though, right? By like two minutes. It's been a while since I've seen episode three. Ah! Fuck you! These guys can be assholes sometimes. They like zoom out ahead of you and then they turn back and then they start shooting at you. From you can push them into the trees though, so that's why it's called. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, this level gave me nausea until I get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. Yeah. Yeah, so you turned around and I was being like, oh, I gotcha, fucker. But I was like, nope. Nope, fucker, don't. I got you instead. My percenter. Looks like too- really? A connect game looks fun? Hearts, but at least I got to the end of the stage. <laughs> I just imagine that's Wicked talking. The Empire is approaching! Uh, were you around for my Mario 64 stream? Giant monster and wreck buildings like Godzilla in Star Wars? Come on. Godzilla. What? Oh god, the ender stages are hard. But you have to play as Wicked the Ewok. Young Warwick Davis inside a bear costume. Fuck off! God damn! I don't remember how to grab on shit. Oh, you can only grab on to certain ones. That's right, eight directional shooting, motherfucker. Wave of the future. You guys remember the... Oh, that sucks. Um, well, the reason... One of the big reasons why I've been gone for so long from streaming is because I've been working on uh, building a website. And... It, it's not officially launched yet because I'm hoping that my friend Jennifer will make the uh, banner art today. It's been really hard to find someone to do art for the site so far. And... Um, she says she might do it today, so hopefully. But, um, I've been working on a couple of articles for it, and the big one, the big launch article for the website is going to be uh, the first original article on the site, which is my big exposition theory on why Son of the Hedgehog is really the story of one hedgehog struggled to accept his own homosexuality. And I talked about it a lot in Mario 64 stream. And I finally got around to writing it. I'm very proud of how it's turned out. And I can't wait to show it to the world. I really can't. It's 
going to change your perspective on reality. Oh, and again with the audio sampling in this game being so great. The stops don't sound fuzzy or compressed at all. They're very, very high quality. tasted like gummy bears. <laughs> okay, this stage is hard. Not because of, like, enemies or anything, but because of the design. It's a very hard platforming level. What? <laughs> What? Don't just stand there and laugh and not tell me what. Oh, uh, I thought you were laughing at me. Not this time, right? So yeah, the, um, the site is actually the thing linked right below- oh shit. Uh, right below the video, so... The only things that are on there right now are articles that were originally posted on Gamnesia and Zelda Informer, and uh, one video, but once it's launched, I'm gonna be spamming my link to the Sonic article like crazy, so please share it around, tell your friends, and laugh at how ridiculous the theory is. I really, really hope you laugh at it. It reads kind of like fan fiction, but it, it's all canon to the games. It's like all stuff that happens in the games, just with a different perspective on it. So, it's believable, at least to me and like the two other people who've read it so far. <laughs> it's a theory I've been working on for a long time, or, it's been, or I've had it in my head for a very long time, and I just never got around to it until now. <laughs> That's the attack button animation! This, oh my god, this is adorable! <laughs> That's adorable! I didn't know you made that stupid face! That's awesome! Ah. <laughs> That's so cool! Oh, <laughs> the jumping! Err! I don't want to have to skip the stage. Yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitter, it's gonna be- when I- when I finally do get around to posting it, you will know immediately on Twitter. Because <laughs> I am very proud of it. So one of Wicket's big thing is you can shoot arrows into things and then uh, bounce on them. Stop! In the name of the Empire. Yeah, I forgot the stormtroopers on the fucking bloody jet bike thing. I want to get to the lower level because our two's down there, but I can't. Down and B doesn't do anything in this game. Oh, I'm supposed to go down. Okay. Lucky snake thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, ha, 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 not, not, not dealing with the giant insect. Nope, not even doing it today. Just immediate nope. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a rough neighborhood. 